Hello and welcome. This video clip is about how to do Probit and Logit models in Stata. Before you view this video clip, make sure that you have watched my videos on how to uh, interpret the Probit and the Logit models as well as the data example one. Uh, and these are just going to be the commands on how to do that in Stata. So here I have opened um, a do file editor in Stata and I have already executed the program by just hitting run or execute or do the program and here are the results so that we save time throughout the, um, the video. So how does it start? Um, the first thing that you need to do is use and then point to where your data is located. So in my case, I have saved data, probit underscore insurance. This is the file name that I have with the data. I have saved this on, uh, on my C drive, econometric slash data. And you can download this file from my website as well as the program. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is define my Y and X variables. I use global. Uh, and so my Y variable or Y list would be insurance, whether or not a person has insurance. And my X list, these are my independent variables, would be retire, age, uh, health status, good, household income, and so on. And I put them here. So basically, if you want to use this program for your own research, all you need to do is change uh, to the file name that you have with your own data and where it's located so you need to provide it with the path and you need to tell Stata which one is your dependent variable the zero one variable and which ones are your independent variables and hopefully if you cross your fingers everything else will run uh, for the rest of the program so the first thing that we will do is we will describe the y and x variables and you use describe y list and x list. Notice that now we have these dollar signs in front of the y and the x. That's how we're going to refer to them uh, later on in the program. So here's the command that, that got executed, describe y list and x list. And here we see the variable names uh, and their formats and so on. And they actually don't have labels, which is you, you don't quite know what they refer to, but uh, that's how the data came. So next thing that you can do is you can summarize your y and x variables and to do that uh, here are the results. And you see that for insurance we have the mean is 0.38 percent. This is the proportion of people who have uh, health insurance. We have 62 percent of the people are retired. Average age is 66 years old and so on. This is how you interpret those results. Next, you can just list y variables and x variables, the first 10 observations from the first to the 10th observation. And this is how the data looks like. So we have for the dependent variable, well, the first 10 observations are zeros, but they're also ones. Uh, here's a retired age, health status, and so on. If you also want to see the data, you can click on the data editor. And now that you've read it, here is also the data and you can you can look around and you can see there's some y ones for the insurance so this is our dependent variable here so i'm going to close the data and continue next thing that you can do is tabulate your y variable or the insurance and when you tabulate this again you see the frequency in both there are 3206 observations and here's that 38, 39% of them having insurance. So next thing here is how to run a regression. And that's done with reg. You put your y variable and then all the x variables behind it. And these are the results that we have here. And if you notice, these are the results that are actually copied into the table, how to interpret them. So the way to interpret these is, again, more likely or less likely, but don't interpret the magnitude of these coefficients. A probit model is run very easily in SAS. You just put probit 
and then you put the dependent variable name and independent variables and these are the probit model results and you can see it, it looks like a normal um, uh, linear regression um, so here's here's those results uh, and here's that pseudo r square that we talked about that you also need to copy for your table 0.06 kind of low um, next you can uh, estimate the logit model you do that with logit you put the y variable and then your x variables and here again is the y variable and the x variables you see those coefficients again retired people are more likely to have insurance and so on because of the positive uh, coefficient next this is how marginal effects are calculated at the mean and the average marginal effects are calculated in stata you can quietly run a regression with your y variables and x variables and then use the command margins comma dy dx stars and you put at means which means the marginal effects at the means um, and here is the conditional marginal effects that are calculated and they're listed over here so I copied these marginal effects from here now notice that the now you don't have a constant anymore there's no marginal effect for it for a constant and these are actually the means of the independent variables so retired you have 62 percent of of the sample are retired and these are the x bar values that are used to calculate those uh, those marginal effects so the way to interpret this now is if a person is retired they're four percent more likely to have insurance so now you can interpret both the sign and the magnitude of these if you look next one for the margins comma dy dx uh, star then these are the average marginal effects which are better calculate a better approach in calculating marginal effects but nevertheless if you compare the magnitudes they're very similar okay so next thing uh, these are uh, for OLS uh, and then I have for logit and the probit models so um, and these are the commands as you can see they're exactly the same thing so one thing you're going to see here for the regression is that the marginal effects are the coefficients in the OLS model uh, and they have the same the same values um, and then uh, you can you can check them out for the logit and the probit models here and I have put them in uh, in the table and explained them okay so once you calculate this one one thing that you can do here um, is to calculate the odds ratios and in stata that is done by using logistic uh, as a as a command and then you put Y list and X list and here are the results um, for the logistics that gives the odds ratio uh, and you can see right here that on top it says odds ratio and um, for retired the way to interpret this is that uh, you can say um, that the odds of um, being having insurance versus not having insurance is 1.21 uh, so you're more likely if you're retired you're actually more likely to have insurance than not not have insurance uh, and so on next what you can do is calculate predicted probabilities you can quietly estimate the logic model and then use the command predict and this is um, plogit is the uh, using the pre this is basically the variable name that you give it for these predicted probabilities and comma PR this is um, the standard command to call for the predicted probabilities and you do the same thing for the probit and for the for the um, for the regression you use uh, basically comma XB because these are just the uh, coefficients times the X variables in the linear model and then you can summarize these um, so here we look at the summaries uh, of, of them and if you look at the means they're um, very very similar and they're also very similar to what the frequencies are the actual frequencies 
So this is the insurance, that's the sample frequency. This is the predicted probabilities coming from the logit model, this is from the probit, and this is from the OLS model. And if you actually open up the data editor and you scroll down the data, they actually got calculated here. And these are the predicted probabilities. So the first person in the data has a predicted probability of 22% of having insurance. Um, well, all of them according to this model. So one very interesting thing to, is notice this number right here. Do you see that it's negative? That's one of the drawbacks of uh, the OLS model it, it, is that it does not restrict the predicted probabilities to be between 0 and 1. So you have a, a, a prediction for probability going outside of, of this region. So basically, you can have these predicted probabilities either as a ratio like that, or if it's less than, point of, uh, than point 0.5, you can say we're predicting that this individual, for example, uh, basically is uh, we're predicting him not to have insurance because it's less than 0.05. Okay, so again, this was the summary of those predicted probabilities, and you see how how close they are to the sample average. Okay. Um, so, oh, one thing that uh, that I, I can also show you is these are the the values that we're trying to predict. You see like how it's, it's all zeros. These are the actual values in the 12th observation. That person here has insurance. So if we scroll down and we look at those probabilities, we're still predicting that that person is only 33% likely to have um, uh, to have insurance. So that's basically not a very good prediction right here. But these these probabilities, these are the values that we're trying to predict. This is the insurance, the dependent variable, the zero one variable. Okay, so the final thing to show you here is how to calculate percent correctly predicted. Um, you're estimating again the logit model, you're giving it y and x, and then you use the command ESTAT a classification, uh, and these are basically the results here. And Stata has um, a way of displaying that table that was in my lecture. So you have the true predictions and you have the false predictions. Uh, and basically, this is the number, 62%, uh, that you need to report in your uh, paper is percent um, correctly classified. Uh, so basically, we have, well, not so good prediction here, uh, ability for this model to predict. And then from the profit model, if you estimate the profit model and then you use uh, this um, ESTAT classification, you can see that, again, it's around 62%. So very similar prediction for both um, the profit and the logit models. So again, uh, this is how you do profit and logit models in, in Stata. All you have to do is just change those lines uh, based on where your data is, y and x, and it should run with your uh, problem that you have, and also look at the interpretations uh, of, of how to interpret those results that I have summarized. Thanks for watching!